Hi guys, welcome back to another UTET tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to create line business account. The reason why we are creating a video for this is because the registration process to set up a business account is slightly complicated and to access API information and security keys is not very straightforward. So a lot of users are getting confused and requesting for information which we do not have for line channel. For example, a lot of users are reaching out to uChat and requesting for webhook information. Once we set up our line business account accurately, we would have access to channel ID, we would have access to channel secret, and we would have access to channel access token. These are the three information that we need in order to integrate over UChat chatbot for line and connect over line business account to it. So in order to start signing up and where to go, the first thing that you can do is open line channel in your dashboard and click on add new line bot. Once you're on this page on the top here you see it says sign up for line account. You click on sign up for your line account and you land on this page. From this page you need to click on create an account and sign up with either your line account or sign up with an email. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with an email and the email service that I'm using is a temporary email for this demo. However, when you're signing up and if you're signing up with an email, please sign up and use your professional, your valid and original email that you use every day for business purposes. Because if you lose access to your demo email, or temporary email, you will be logged out of your account and there would not be any way to restore access to your business account for LINE. So please be careful while registering. I would click on sign up with email. I would copy the email address from here and paste it here. And this would send sign up link over to my email address. Now, once I receive the link, I would click on continue. And over here, I would select the name. I would say line tutorial and the password. So while selecting your password, please make sure that your password is numbers alphabets and special characters in order to keep your password secure. If you're just using numbers, it is not going to accept that. So after that, I would click on I'm not a robot and hit sign up. So it is showing me that this is the name, this is the email, and if I want to change anything or if everything is good, you can click on sign up. So my line business account has been successfully created and I'm moving over to my account. Now from here, what is required is you create your official account within this business uh, official manager account. So you click on line official account. You fill in the information once more. So this is line tutorial account name is tutorial. This is my email. Company name is line or test. So my main industry is local business, businesses and organization. And my sub industry is, let's say, education. You need to select your main industry and the sub-industry that you're working in. I'm going to go ahead and select continue on page two or step two. 
I'm going to roll all the way to, to the bottom and click submit. Okay, so your line account is ready. I'm going to go over to my official account manager. So let's see what we have there. Close. Now, once we land here, uh, in order for us to access API information on the top right underneath help in your account, your name or account name, we have settings option here. So we click on settings and from this settings page here on the left hand side, the fourth option from top or the third option from top under account setting is messaging API. So we click on messaging API and the status for messaging API is disabled. So we need to enable messaging API. Once we click on enable messaging API, it's going to ask us for developer info and email address. So you can include your information. You can include your developer's information if you have a developer. Uh, for this demo, because the account name is line tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use the same. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same email over here. And by tapping agree below, you agree to the line's terms and conditions. Okay, there is no other way around it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this information and it's going to ask me for new provider. So this provider is someone or an individual developer, a company or an organization that manages users' personal information. I personally selected UChat because UChat is the organization that would manage my line business account. For more details on that, you can um, click on line developers and check further details on this. So I'm going to go ahead and agree to their terms and conditions again. Uh, now on this page, it is going to ask for privacy policy and terms of use. So the links that I use were from UChat's website, UChat's privacy policy and UChat's terms of conditions. Let me go ahead and show you. Right, so from UChat website, we scroll all the way to the bottom and over here we have privacy policy in terms of conditions, terms and conditions. So I have both pages opened here. I'm going to grab their links and paste them in the required fields. So let's head back over. So now I have my links successfully um, entered in the fields required. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's saying once um, you won't be able to change or unlink this provider once linked. Sure. Let's move forward. So once we enable the messaging API for line, this is the information that appears in front of us. A lot of users are getting confused by seeing webhook URL field here. Uh, let me show you why that is happening. If we head over to UChat, and while we're uh, integrating line business account with our UChat dashboard, it asks for channel ID over here. It asks for channel secret over here. And the third information it is asking for is channel access token. Now, that information is not available here. So how do we access channel access token. And now a lot of users are getting confused and they're either generating support tickets or reaching out to UChat and asking for webhook URL information. However, that this information is not needed at all. Why? Because once we successfully enable the API, we head over to what is messaging API. Once we click on this, we land on this page. Without distraction, click on Start Now. Click on UChat. We already have UChat tutorial set up. So we click on UChat tutorial and we have 
channel ID here. Now I would like you to pay close attention and I would show you meeting all the requirements on the UChat dashboard. This is channel ID. Now we scroll down and over here we have channel secret. We have channel secret. And if we go back up under messaging API and right at the bottom is channel access token. Channel access token which we need here. So we click issue and we have channel access token successfully available to us. Now, this is all that is needed and no need to worry about webhook URL information. Now, if I click add here, this would successfully add tutorial, which is the channel name, to my UChat account. Now I click create flow and this is going to take me over to the uh, flow builder for me to create flows and then based on my user experience you know engage them accordingly so that was it i hope you find this uh, tutorial useful thank you very much for your time hope you have a good day goodbye